Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. So welcome one more time. I'm going to start with the attendance. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Press send when you hear your name, okay? Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Not here. Andrea Isabel Siu. Not here. Brenda Claribel Mejia. Good evening, it's me. Okay. Brian Josué, no more. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Present, good evening. Good evening. Diana Patricia Orantes. Present. Welcome. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jennifer Nusset Arevalo. Present teacher. Wow. A lot of it. Noise. Hola. Hello. Hola. Me escucha. Sí. Yes, but we 
with a lot of noise. Mucho ruido, mucha. Interferencia. Uh -huh. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Good night. <laughs> Sorry. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present. Welcome. Cameras, please. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Mary Abigail Fuentes. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present, Sophie. Okay. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Here. No es Ezequiel Medrano. No, no es Ezequiel. Ya, yeah, Rivera Medrano. Present, present teacher. Ok. Norma Lisette Crespin Orellana. Present teacher. Ok. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Ok. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Camera, please. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Hi. Hello. Silvia Esther Rivera Calderón. Oh. Good. I'm here. Okay. Okay, quick, quick review. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present teacher. Andrea Isabel Siu. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Present. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, what do we have tonight? Well, we are going to continue with uh, the next topic. We'll be talking tonight about wishes. Wishes. Interesting topic. Let me share the screen, share the sound. Okay, common wishes people have about their life. Let's take a look to this common wishes people have. One, they say add more hours to every day. Wow. Do you wish to have more hours? I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't like to have more hours. No. Anyways, change my appearance. Would you like to change your appearance? Hmm, don't tell me. Think about that. Cambiar mm. de apariencia. Yes. Move to a new place. Maybe. Yeah. I would like to more spacious place. Even though this is not that bad. Go back to school? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, depends. 
to do what? Go back to school to study. Uh, I don't think so. Get a different job. Um, not a different, but I would like to have another, my like my own business. Besides teaching English, that would be nice. And I'm about to, I, I am about to do it. Improve my personality. Uh, no. Well, maybe something, but. If you don't like me, it is your problem, not my problem. <laughs> Enjoy life more. Well, I would like to travel more. Yeah, I would like to travel. Become healthier. Well, yeah, I'm not uh, a very sick person, but, you know, I have to take care with my sugar level. I have to be careful with uh, my blood pressure. I don't feel anything, but... The, the doctor said that uh, I have a little high blood pressure, a little high sugar level, a little. Uh, anyways, um, I would like to make new friends. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with the ones I have. <laughs> Do I can make more? No problem, but it's not like a wish okay what about you which of these things would you like to do huh? i go back to the school and really high school really yes but not for the study because i i miss them when the year when i was cachipurrista <laughs> ah i was thinking maybe a boyfriend no. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. But let's, let's see. I, any any other wish, people? Huh? Let me see. Become healthier because the last year I was in the hospital. Uh, how do you say operation? Surgery. Surgery. I have a surgery. You had a surgery? Surgery. Surgery? Ah, okay. Yes, I have a surgery. But are you okay now? Yes, but I I be careful with the food. Okay. Any other one? Tell me what which of these things would you like to do? <laughs> Come on, speak. I wish make make a new friends. Okay. Because well. I I have I have um a red social media. Uh huh. Social network. Have, yes, uh, and in TikTok, I have um around one million persons or people or I don't know. Or, I say people or persons. One million. <laughs> Uh, around, around. Wow. Yes, I I made the um, the videos. Really? <laughs> uh, wow. Yes. And are you making money? Um, actually, I don't have money, but but I I I need <laughs> I'm and para hacer dinero tengo que hacer lives. Ah. I made life uh, with other persons. By one, one million is a people. lot. Yeah. Watching, watching. Wow. Yes. Okay. Uh, pero si seguidores tengo um, eight, ocho mil, ocho mil y algo. Ah, okay. Ocho mil quinientos por ahí. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. 
Uh, no sé cómo se dice las estadísticas. Stats, en statistic. A eso, este, arrojan de que eh, alrededor del día eh, un millón de personas ven mis videos. Oh, really? A million? Okay, but you better say that in English. Okay. Um, okay. In statistic, uh -huh. uh, told, told me at around uh, around the one million persons watch my videos. One million people. How many okay. money do you receive? Ah. How many money do you How receive? Many money? How much money? How much how money? Much, how, much, how much money do you receive? No, 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 no. She said that she's not <laughs> making money because she has to make life. Yes, I, I like okay. I, I like my videos. Okay. We will look for you on TikTok. How can we find you on TikTok? How can we find you on TikTok? Um I have a two two Okay, two write names. write write your accounts in the chat. Okay. Um going to the follow. first one my name write, is write it in the chat. Write them in the chat, okay? Okay. Okay, people. Anyone else <laughs> want to share his or her wish? <laughs> About me, yeah. uh -huh. I always think about becoming healthier. Healthier. Healthier, yeah. And about food and exercising too. Okay. I would like to be to become healthier without doing exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but magic, you magic. Pincha, you're really, you're really <laughs> lazy. I'm a couch potato. Yes, I, <laughs> I am. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> okay. This is terrible for me, teacher. Yeah, I need your, I, I, I need your services. <laughs> hey, I can help you, uh, Queen. Okay. Reina. <laughs> Hi. What do you okay. say? We have a personal trainer here. Oh. It's me. Yes. <laughs> if you want to, uh, if you want to a personal trainer, I'm here. And you know, you, don't you have TikTok? Uh, no. Okay, do it. A lot of <laughs> trainers do. Yes. Can I, can I make the lives? Uh, the, the personal trainer. Okay, you see, uh, you see. You have a, a lot of money in the in this case. Okay. Okay, very good, people. Now look at these two guys here in this picture. That's a terrible picture. Ah. Uh, what are they talking also tell me what do you see in the picture describe the picture come I on see that uh -huh. is cafeteria okay you can say a cafe they are in a cafe okay it's cafe okay are they outdoors they or indoors they have a relaxed moment. Okay, they're having a relaxing, a relaxing moment. I Remember, see. relaxing moment. Okay. Yeah. I see them. I see the guy. I, I see the guy need to shower to take shower. <laughs> yeah. Which guy? Which the one? Guy with the t-shirt. Uh, how do you say gris? I forgot it. How do the, we say? The, how do the, you say gris, people? Gray. 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 
The t-shirt with the color gray. Okay. She looks she look disgusting, I think. Okay. Disgusting. I, I see that the man with the red hat looks worried about something. Ah, okay. Maybe. Uh huh. Maybe uh, he want a, a new job. Maybe he's okay. tired of his job. Can be father and son. Oh, could be. We don't know. Uh huh. Okay. There are two people taking a cup of coffee uh -huh. and take, talking about your maybe wishes. <laughs> My wishes? Their wishes. Ah, their wishes. Ah, okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's take a look at the conversation then. Let me read and record the conversation for you here. Let's click on a group. Okay. Conversation. So, where are you working now, Terry? Oh, I'm still at the bank. I don't like it, though. That's too bad. Why not? Well, it's boring. And it doesn't pay very well. I know what you mean. I don't like my job either. I wish I could find a better job. Actually, I don't want to work at all anymore. I wish I had a lot of money so I could retire now. Hmm, how old are you, Terry? Uh, when it's thick. <laughs> when he's sick, then he doesn't want to work at all anymore. My God. Lazy. Okay, one more time. Listen. So, where are you working now, Terry? Oh, I'm still at the bank. I don't like it, though. I that's too bad. Why not? It's, well, it's boring and it doesn't pay very well. I know what you mean. I don't like my job either. I wish I could find a better job. Actually, I don't want to work at all anymore. I wish I had a lot of money so I could retire now. Hmm, how old are you, Terry? Um, 26. Ah, nice. Okay, just let me show you these two sentences. I wish I could find a better job. I wish I had a lot of money. Okay. I want to call your attention particularly to this form. I wish I could find a better job. I wish I had a lot of money. Okay, pay attention to that. Okay, people, uh, we are going to watch a video about this topic. So, how to express your wishes, right? Let me see, where do I have that video? Okay, give me a second. I, I'm going to prepare the video about that topic. Expressing, expressing wishes. Okay, here it is. All right, watch this video and we're going to discuss it later.
Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. And in order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is, I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again. Or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever complement, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I 
could. Move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom, after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life, where, easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Uh, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. Okay. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. This formula here at the bottom. Okay, if you see, this is the formula to uh, talk about your wishes or talk about your present wish. So your present wish. So we use wish plus the past tense, usually in this order, okay? Usually with this structure. First, the subject, then the verb wish, then the subject again, then the verb in the past, and the complex. See, I wish I didn't live with my parents. So it is this. Subject, 
I. Then the verb wish. Then the subject again. Wish I. The verb in the past. Even. Live. And the complement. With my cat. The second sentence, I wish I had my own apartment. Same thing, okay? I wish I would have to compliment my own apartment. Then uh, can, remember that the pass for can is could. The pass for can is could. I can't move out. I wish I could move out. Okay. The pass of is, okay, here we have something interesting because is the past of or verb be is was and where or where okay remember we use was with I I was he was she was it was and where with you we and they you were, we were, they were. But in this case, we are always going to use where. Look after which, where is used with all pronouns. I wish it were easier. We don't say it was easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. Ah, this is a different structure, right? Huh? Let's see if we can take a look to that structure. Uh, uh, oh. And... Okay, this is with was with with where. This is with the verb be. The same structure. I is the subject. The subject, I. Wish. The other subject. What are we talking about? We are talking about life. I wish life. This is what we are talking about. The verb in the past, in this case, is verb B, and we always are going to use where, wherein, and the complement. Huh? I wish life were easier. I wish life weren't so difficult. So be careful. With the verb be, we are always going to use where. Negative form where. Now, uh, for the, what is the past of future sentence? Remember that the past form of will is would. The past form of will is would. My parents won't stop worrying about me. 
I wish they would stop worrying about me. Okay. The password will is would. Well, any questions so far, people? Uh, teacher, when I use he or she, uh, how do you say? When I use he or she, three person. Third person. My brother, he wishes he um, have a better job. This form. My brother wishes he had a better job. Oh, uh, Susan wishes she were younger. Okay. So well, this is the way with third person. My brother, he, Susan, she. Teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. In the sentences, my brother wishes he had. Why you don't use where if you tell us after wish where is used with all pronouns? No, no, no. After which the verb is in past. That After is the rule. The verb. The verb. Only the verb. The verb we are using should be in past. In this case, we use where because the verb is be. Mm -hmm. So, this one, for example, here, life is difficult. What verb is? Is the verb be? I wish it were easier. Or I wish life were easier. The verb in past. Yes, to confirm. Mm -hmm. um, for which we don't use was, right? Like, I wish it was easier. No. We got to use where? Where. Okay, thank you. Probably with, with like, uh, with conditional in spoken English, you are going to hear people using was. But it's not grammatically correct. Okay. In movies, you, you are going to see people using was. Okay, so that is uh, informal or is not grammatically correct. Okay, any other nice. questions? Yes, let me see if, if I understand the, the lesson. Um, after which, where you use with all pronouns, but you when. Say when we are using the verb be. The verb be. Because I understand that you, after the, the word wish, you always uh, say where for all pronouns. No. Well, yes, but when the verb in the sentence is the verb be. When the verb, okay. The when verb... the sentence is with the verb be, 
We are going to use the past form. Remember, the rule is, is this. The rule is this. Subject, wish, subject, verb in the past. Complement. That is the rule. And always use the verb in past. Always, verb. always. Yeah. Always and forever. <laughs> yes. In informal can, can be what? Informal. Okay. Okay, so if the verb is have, we are going to use has. If the verb is live, we are going to use lived. If the verb is see, we are going to use so. If the verb is be, we are going to use where, always where, but when the verb is be. Okay? We won't use was. That is the idea. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. No, oh, the same pattern. In the last example, my parents. Okay. In the last example, because they use... won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? Okay, we use would because... Will is the past form of will. Okay. What kind Let's go back to the manual here. Look at this. Fact. I don't like my job. I wish I could find a better job. That is optional. I wish that I could find a better job. This is optional, we can omit it. I wish I worked somewhere else. There are different ways to express your wish. I wish that I could find a better job. I wish I worked somewhere else. I live with my parents, wishes. I wish I lived in my own apartment. I wish I didn't live with my parents. See, I wish I verb in part lived, verb in part didn't live. Life is difficult, verb B. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. After wish. Where is used, where is used with I, he, she, and it. After which, where is used with I, he, she, and it. Okay, so look at this situation. These are different situations. You have to write a wish for each situation, okay? For example, my class is boring. I wish my class were more interesting. I wish that I could take another class. That is, those are some wishes for that situation. Okay, situation two. I have to take the bus to work every day. I have to take the bus to work every day. Okay, what wish can you express for that situation? 
for situation two. I wish I had a car. For example. No more car, please. More <laughs> car, more traffic. <laughs> or I wish I worked from, from. home. Okay. Home. I wish I didn't have to work. I wish. I wish for that situation. I wish my work were near my home. Huh? It's correct, correct. If I say I wish I live near to the company, for example. Okay, yes. Yes. I wish. lived near the company. Okay. So you see there are different wishes you can express for each situation. Right? So continue please with situation three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Write one wish for each situation okay okay let, let let's do something because there are many there are too many well not too many but there are many situation three so let's write your wish for situation three write it in the chat please only situation three. Our apartment is too small. Write your wish in the chat. Okay, I see Reina says, I wish your apartment were bigger. Okay. I wish I, I had a spacious apartment, Sylvia. Okay. Come on, people, write your wish for situation three. Okay. Very good news. I wish we had a bigger apartment. I wish I bought a Diana? 
well, we are we are working on sentence one, on sentence three. I wish I could move out, Brenda. Very good. Sentence three. Sentence three. Situation B. Okay. Okay, now, hmm, let's work on situation six. I'm single. It's too easy. <laughs> I <laughs> wish I had a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, well. But there are different wishes. Now, we are working on situation C. I'm single. I wish I had a date, says Sylvia. Situation C, people. Situation C. Yes, about this number six. Yes. It's correct. I wish I had a date. Yeah, that's good. Okay. People, write your wishes for situation six. I'm single. It's correct if I say I wish I met a guy. Okay. Okay. Compatible? Well, there are a lot of compatible people. That is not the key. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, not that easy. <laughs> I wish I could get married, says Brenda. Okay. Direct. I wish. <laughs> Look at Diana. <laughs> That's easy to. I'm loud. The, 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 the set. <laughs> I wish. Okay, good. I wish yeah. I, but you know, he said there is no boyfriends there. with S at the end. Okay, sorry. But there's no verb. <laughs> I wish. It was a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I met. I wish I have. I wish I found. You need a verb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And singular. <laughs> I wow. Uh, I wish I could find the man of my dreams. The problem with women is when you find it, when you find him, when you find your blueprint, is not the blue that you want. That's a big problem. <laughs> it's not the tone of blue that you wanted. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, very good. What about the situation? Eight. I don't have any free time. Write your wishes for situation A. I wish I didn't work. 
I wish I had time for for me, no my, for me. Yes, that's yes. not right. Yes, you're right. Thank you. I wish I had more free time. Okay. Very good. I wish I could travel the world. I wish I had vacation. Okay. I wish I had a new job. Okay. Very good. I wish I had any free time. To stay, not for stay, to stay in my house. Okay, Luis. Very good, people. Well, we're going to stop here. Um, have a lot of What am I trying? Okay, people, have a good night. Uh, you can practice with the other sentences if you want. Okay, complete that text. See you tomorrow. See you okay. tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Hey, did Bye. you get Brenda's TikTok? <laughs> Thanks, 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 Mister. Ready to army. Wow. Violet. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Have a good night, people. See you good tomorrow. night.